Believe it or not, man, there are almost 2 million people every single freaking day that watch The View. I almost can't even wrap my head around that, right? But it is true. People watch this stuff. I mean, lots and lots of people watch this. And I can only imagine if they're watching it, they believe it and they agree with a lot of things that are being said there. And that's about as scary a thing as I think is possible in the year 2024. I mean, they just did a segment where one of their pet Republicans, Alyssa Farrah Griffin, finally just says what common sense people are thinking. And the propagandists in charge of this circus, they did not like it. They lose their minds. And all she said was, you know, these trials are helping Donald Trump. And it's true. I mean, if you believe any of the polling, both nationally and in the, sw in the swing states, Joe Biden is getting crushed. I mean, nothing in the world is going right for the poor guy. And just wait until people find out that he's about to start flying Palestinians into the country. I mean, once that takes off, no one's going to care about a Trump trial. Democrats will be trying to break the guy out of jail himself. Well, as it turns out, there are a lot of major issues happening in the country, around the world right now. U.S. abortion rights being stripped, uh, nationwide campus protests over the Israel-Hamas war, and you know who, whose criminal trial, just to name a few. So, with all of this going on, how are people, can people even navigate? Because it feels like it's just like a media blitz of everything yes. constantly yes. all the time. Mm -hmm. So. I am in such a good mood today, and I hate to raise this mm. point, but I have to. Um, we've got to re ring some alarm bells. The election's seven months out. I don't trust polling. I do agree with that. I think you can take it on aggregate, and if the polls on aggregate are to be believed, Donald Trump very well may be president in seven months. And here's what I fear. My initial thought was him being on trial and in a courtroom and not on the campaign trail was going to hurt him. I'm starting to think that it doesn't in the same way because he's not out there saying crazy things. He's not saying immigrants are poisoning our blood. He actually has to kind of sit there silently with his hands folded. So what the media or what people are seeing when they turn on the media, not that crazy time piece we read yesterday about all the horrifying things he's going to do in a second term. They see violence and they see protests on college campuses. They see young people calling Joe Biden genocide Joe, and it scares people, whether it's you're from a law and order perspective, whether you're on the fence about Biden. I think there's a real reality right now that Joe Biden could pick up swing voters. He could pick up moderate Republicans and suburban women. And why you want to women, good mood again? But what was listen, the reason she That's said not why she Listen, oh. he could pick up <laughs> all the demographics you generally need, but lose young progressives and lose the election to Donald Trump. That's where we are but right what, now. But what did you, you said, said you were in a good, good mood. mood? No, and I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry to bring the mood down with my take, but I'm very worried. I, I, so, gotta... But what's the good mood about? I'm really worried, she says. And just think about what these people actually worry about. They worry that when their fellow Americans turn on their TV or read the news, that they'll actually see how freaking effed the entire country and the world is. Instead of some out of context, pointless reporting about some misunderstood thing that Donald Trump may or may not have said, right? And because of that, because that's what they see, they'll make a different decision than the typical limousine liberal on The View when they vote in November. This is what these people worry about. I mean, nothing tells me more about who those people are than that right there. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, how do you even explain that, right? I mean, that tells you almost as much as the fact that the other ladies on the show, they just cannot handle hearing it. I mean, they don't want to hear it. And here's the thing. Griffin has an interesting point about Donald Trump having to stay silent and not say anything, but that's not true. That's not what this is. The guy is still campaigning. The guy is still out there, and he's still saying things that can still be taken out of context. But that, I think, in my opinion, is actually what's helping. People are finally starting to see through the noise. Everyone who can still form their own thoughts knows that what Donald Trump says and what the media said he says are not the same thing. Bloodbath, for example. I mean... It's a pretty egregious one. I mean, the, the world knows that he did not call for a bloodbath. I know. I, 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 thought, I thought we were going to get something different. I was waiting too. I was like, come on, yeah. bring in the good. You yeah, know, I, I, I will disagree about the, 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 the trials. Uh, um, but I, I would like to start with the fact that I am so shocked that the Republican Party has a nominee who is a former... To one term, twice impeached, indicted with 88 criminal charges and found guilty of sexual abuse, liable for a sexual Lovely. abuse. Tied with Joe Biden. I, it doesn't I'm make so sense. shocked no. that that's all the Republican Party had to offer. But what does give me some hope, it makes me a little bit happy with my legal nerd hat on, is that 
there have, um, Americans are more likely than not to say the criminal cases don't positively impact their likelihood to vote for him. 33% of all Americans are much less likely to vote for Trump because of the criminal case. Oh. And two thirds of registered voters, 64% say Trump's hush money charges are serious. If he's convicted, they will not vote for him. I think that is a bright spot. I think that's important. You know, I'm sure that she does think that that's a bright spot, man. But little does she know, it gives us a window into why this case even exists. This is not about holding some rich guy accountable for an eight-year-old misdemeanor. This is about exactly what Sonny just said, about convincing people not to vote for Donald Trump. And you know, if the parties were reversed, this is exactly the kind of thing that she would be calling election interference. And she'd be right. I mean, that's exactly what this is. And here's the thing. I don't know about those polls she's talking about. Whenever the polls are shady, they don't really ever name the poll. They just say, oh, it's the polls, the polls when it's just a poll, like from some random Albuquerque newspaper. But so I don't have much to say about that poll, but I will say this. If the poll shows that 60 something percent of people think that the hush money case is serious, all that really shows is that those people know very, very little about the case. They're not being told. They're not being given information. And I think the key thing is, even in that random poll, the key is conviction. And I don't think she's going to think it's too much of a bright spot when that doesn't happen. Because as we've been following last week, it's like day eight of actual testimony. And it's not looking good for the state of New York. And I do think that people are paying attention to the fact that he's been fined $9,000 on, uh, you know, for violating a gag order, that he's just losing it. He's farting up a storm in the courtroom. <laughs> Everyone's writing about that. He's probably just horrified about that. He's sitting there falling asleep. He's now Sleepy Don. There's no Sleepy Joe anymore. I think there's a lot of good stuff happening. They need to the get him some emodium. <laughs> and that right there proves the point, man. We've just seen eight days of actual testimony, right? And the good stuff that has happened so far is Trump farting and Trump falling asleep and Trump being fined nine grand for violating an unconstitutional gag order. This is what they have. I mean, the president farted. Two thirds of Americans in some imaginary poll think that that's a serious thing. And I mean, it's just amazing. And the, the news the media is giving these people that think that this is a serious case is that Donald Trump farted. I mean, these are not serious people, man. And you just can't make it up. I mean, this is what they've got. This is how their barely working brains function, for lack of a better word. I mean, it's embarrassing. It's freaking, it is embarrassing. And Donald Trump has legitimately and completely destroyed liberal brains. I mean, it's, it's going to be studied. It is a remarkable thing to watch. Today, I'd like to point out that Harvard, uh, the Institute of Politics, released a poll that they did. And this whole thing that's going on with the Israeli-Palestine problem uh, is ranked at the bottom, mm -hmm. near the bottom, that you young people are more interested in 64% inflation, health care, gun violence, protecting democracy, reproductive rights, and climate change. Thank you. Thank you, young people, because we're relying on you to save the country and the world. And remember, when you don't have to love Joe Biden. You just have to love your freedom. That's all you have to love. <laughs> yeah. It's love such a low bar. Freaking, how sad is that, man? That is next level gaslighting from incredibly desperate people. You don't have to love Joe Biden, Whoopi says. You just have to love your freedoms. And if, if you don't hear what I'm saying, hear this. Donald Trump will take your freedom. Joe Biden will protect your freedom. He won't protect your purchasing power, not your bank account, not your grocery bill. He won't protect your border or your family. He won't protect any of that, but he'll protect your freedom. <laughs> You'll be free to suffer as much as you can handle. But that's, a, <laughs> that's about as much as I can handle the view. But I think it's important stuff to see. I mean, this is how some people think. And this is the kind of garbage that is poisoning people all over the country, man. Literally destroying their brains, breaking their brains. But... That's just my take, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already, be a part of our growth. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. I'll see you in the next one.